So you just saw me get out of the Sonus Faber Trenov Mad VR demo, basically shell shocked in the best way. But a major part of that was the incredible resolution and great, great video provided, mostly due to the Mad VR processor. And I've got Rick from Mad VR to tell me about why this product is so unique and so interesting. Already, I would describe it to you guys as like the Trinov of video or just cinemaphilia, but let's let the expert tell us. Hey, Luke, thank you very much. I really pleasure, appreciate man. that. I'm glad that you had such an awesome experience in there. We're doing some really cool things in there. Behind the scenes, the whole point of the Envy is to be completely transparent. Things you may not, have, most people don't even realize like that clip of Maverick that's being shown yeah. is actually 1.85 and we show the whole thing in scope. And nobody even realizes it when they come out. It they, was seamless. They, they think that it's a scope movie. I thought it was two. I thought it was two three or two four zero. Oh. Right, right. It's it's not. Well, we, we showed it as two four zero, oh, uh, two three five actually in this room. But it's actually that scene is one point eight five. So, you know, in that room with a four point five meter screen, you know that means that you've got literally like this much black bar normally on each side. And what usually what that happens is the first time. When people see that, when it pops up, they think, oh, it's one of those, yeah. right? And like, oh, I don't get to fill the whole screen. Well, I get it. It's kind of the way it is. Well, we make it so that one of the things the MV does is the incredible nonlinear stretch. We do vertical compression and horizontal expansion, which has never been done before. That allows us to share that geometric distortion across both axes. That's why it looks so nice and, like, you can't even tell that it's happening. I, it was... I never would have known. <laughs> and it's like in the best way. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's great. Funny part is, I watch this in my theater with an MV, and I have our nonlinear stretch on, and I watch the whole thing, and it didn't even occur to me that it was a 1.85 movie most of the time, and it had variable aspect ratios. And about a week later, somebody had mentioned this, and I said, "Are you sure?" And yeah. I went back and checked it. I'm like, so I felt a little bit, kind of like. A little foolish like god how did i not know this but then i also felt kind of like proud like hey well that's the whole idea the product can do this without me noticing it it can do this without the average person noticing it as well and so, that's the whole idea just to right. deliver that perfect seamless immersive experience yes exactly so that's a great example one of the things that, um the mb does we also have best in class hdr processing to deliver commercial cinema quality hdr to the home theater Okay. And so that's really tricky to do because these projectors have maybe, depending on what they are, somewhere between 80, 100, 200, 500 nits maximum. And these movies are mastered for at least 10,000 or 4,000 nits. So that's very tricky to do. Which is so funny. And, and like, I get why they're doing it because, you know, we're pushing eventually where we'll get to. But yeah. like, even the highest NTVs barely go over 2,000. And it's just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. even they can't always get the tone mapping right. And that's one of the things that jumped out to me is that highlights were just so bold but dark spots look dark but not completely unintelligible right right so we make sure that all the detail in the bright areas of the image remains we have something called highlight recovery highlight recovery ensures that all those details don't get crushed which hdr algorithms typically do and we also make sure that we never crush black gotcha. so it's about hdr processing non-linear stretch instant aspect ratio detection i mean like literally instant we go back and forth between variable aspect ratios. You can't even tell. And if you combine that with nonlinear stretch, you can watch a whole movie of scope despite what all the aspect ratios are. All right, so what's the new movie out? Uh, Everything, everywhere, all at once. That uses four different aspect ratios. Okay, 16 by nine. Quite literally, everything, everywhere, all at once. Four by three. <laughs> we must be talking about the aspect ratio. Uh, 185 and 240. Okay, and so with the MB, you can watch it now. That's a movie where I can actually recommend not using the stretch because those are elements that help tell the story at different periods and places are told in different aspect ratios. But even then, if you're watching on a scope screen, your, your lens is zoomed to fill the screen. And as the aspect ratios change, you have constant image height. If you try watching that without an envy, you have to watch it, the whole thing, as small as possible. Because when it goes to 16 by 9, it would be on your ceiling and on the floor. So the lowest common denominator is what basically gets you the worst. Right. Exactly. Okay. So with an envy, you're zoomed the whole time always to fill the screen. And then we provide AI-based downscaling to make sure that we deliver the image so it fits in the screen 
at all times. And doesn't the Envy does this on like real time, right? Yeah, exactly right. It's incredible. Yeah, exactly. It's fantastic. Right. Thank you. So basically, what I need to leave my clients with is that better color, dark scenes that are actually viewable, highlights that are realistic, and no freaking black bars. <laughs> Right. Ever. Yeah, it's a great way to sum it up. You know, there's also some things like subtitle management, upscaling that we do from 1080p to 4K to 5K to 8K. Um, it's an HDMI 2.1, HCCP 2.3 box. Did you say 2.1? Yeah, HCCP Thank you. 2.1. Thank you. Uh, on the output side. And so make sure that we can deliver all that quality all the way up to 8K. Awesome. So this thing is future proof. You're there. You're already there. <laughs> that is fantastic. And I'm, I'm so happy to hear that you guys are thinking ahead on things like that because, yeah, yeah, it's really granted, you know, with everything that happened over the past couple of years, I get why some people are delayed, but we got to get that 2.1 out there. And it's wonderful to see that yeah, you're doing no, that on you. top of these incredible features that you came up with. So That's thank awesome. you for the incredible oh, demo from your incredible product. Oh, yeah. Thank you so guys, much. Guys, we'll have more content about the Envy soon because we're going to get some. <laughs> see you soon.